Welcome to Durham Amy Zion Church Visionary Outreach Broadcast. Your host is Reverend Letter A. Edwards. Now, let us enter in service. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and to be glad to be in it. Um, my father's children, this is the first Sunday of February 2023. We ought to just thank God that we are able to see another Sunday. Amen. That God has spared our life. Amen. That God has delivered us once again. Amen. Out of danger seen and most importantly, I, I believe danger is unseen. Amen. Amen. I can halfway defend myself when I see stuff coming. Amen. But it's that stuff that I don't see. Amen. That, 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 that gets the best of me. But I thank God that he's my defender. Yeah. That's why, you know, the, you know, that's why David said he's my fortress and my shield. And then I heard him say a very present help. Did anybody know? Did anybody know that God's a very what present help in a time of trouble? Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord coming from um, the 134th Psalm, 135th Psalm says, "Praise ye the Lord, and let the name of the Lord praise Him, O ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good." saying praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. And we bless your holy and righteous name. You are God. You are superior. No one is like you. I pray that you will order our steps according to your word. Even in the midst of this worship experience, order our thoughts, order our minds, order our spirit, according to your word, so that we may be able to worship you in spirit and in truth. God, we thank you for this in advance in the name that is Lord, Jesus. That's why there's power in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus, oh, how I love to say his name, that Jesus is Lord. Amen. 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 Well, my father's children, um, again, this is our first Sunday celebration. This is where we come to share in the Lord's Supper. Amen. And um, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm glad because I need more covering all my life. I, I, need, I need another washing the way of sins off of me. Amen. And so usually we have one song, then another song and all like that. But I really want to get into the heart of why we are here. And that's really the celebration of the Lord's Supper. And to hear a word. And so allow me to go directly into that word. 
Amen. Amen. I um I um want to first guide you the scripture. Amen. Now, forgive me, but um, I'm going to get into your business today. I'm telling you in advance that I'm about to get into your business. I'm, I, I, you know, anybody that don't want me in your business, you ought to really sign off now. Maybe you just hold up your finger, step out either doors of the exit. I'm going to get into some business today. Amen. So I'm going to ask that you turn to um, um, James, the first chapter. James, the first chapter at home, please go and grab your weaponry. Go grab your Bibles. First James, my well, first James, amen. James, the first chapter. going to start at the second verse, and then we're going to read the second to the eighth verse. And I'm going to be reading to you today from the English Standard Version, the English Standard Version. It reads like this, starting at the second verse. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. He is a double-minded man, unstable. In all, not some, but in all his ways. May the Lord add his richest blessing to the hearing and the receiving of his word. Amen. Amen. At the cross, at the cross. Where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart roll away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. One more time. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens roll away. It was there. My sight and now I am happy. 
our Father and our God. For we look towards the hills for which cometh our help. For all of our help comes from the Lord. Father, we thank you on the day and we bless your holy and righteous name. God, first and foremost, we want to just say we're sorry for all the sins for which we have committed by thought, by word, and by deed. God, the remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Lord. We humbly beseech thee. Remove, O oh Father God, all inequities from our lives. Allow us, O oh Father God, to be able to come to the throne of grace through prayer without apprehension and without fear, without doubt. Because you are the one that has given us our Savior, Jesus Christ. So that we may have life and have life more abundantly. We pray, O oh Father God, for our families far and near. Bless our households, whether it be our children, bless them and keep them. Bless, O oh Father God, our siblings far and near. Bless our neighbors. Bless our co-workers. And even God bless our enemies. For you said you will put heaping coals of fire on their heads. So God, even as we are asking that you bless everyone, we ask that you bless us too. Lord, bless me. Bless me, oh Lord, for I stand in need of a blessing from your hand one more time. You have brought us through many trials and tribulations. You have brought us over many hills and valleys. You have brought us out of the clutches of death and placed our feet on the mountaintop one more time. God, you have grabbed us out of being financially broke and brought us to a place, oh, Father God, where we can afford what we want to afford. God, you are awesome, God. There's no failure in you, oh, God. There's no weakness in you, oh, God. And because you are in me and I'm in you, there ain't no failure in us. There ain't no weakness in us. So we thank you. And we bless your name. And as we go, oh, Father God, further, we thank you not just for today, but we thank you, God, for tomorrow, wherever tomorrow may be. We thank you for Tuesday, yeah. wherever Tuesday may be. Yes. We want to thank you on Wednesday, yeah. Thursday and Friday, Saturday, one more time. Yeah. And then, God, if you say so, Thank you for being back in the number one more time. Glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. One more time. We thank you for this, oh God. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. My father's children, give God a hand clap of praise.
we're going to have Sister Portia Allen come forward at this time. And she's going to bless us in the music ministry. Amen. And then we will come back and bring you what thus saith the Lord. But before we go into communion, after that, we're going to hear our announcements. And then we are going to have a Black History moment on today. Amen. Because you know it's, it's Black History Month regardless of what they're trying to do in other states. Amen. You ain't going to never take away our, our history. Amen. 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 And we're going to stand, stand strong and we're going to stand firm. Amen. 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 I'm about to call a reverend, but Sister Portia Allen. Amen. <laughs> Come forward at, at this time. Like Amen. You're going to have to hold this. Today. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, Durham. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love. He and forgave. He bled and died. Just like my pardon. An empty grave. Is here to prove my savior there. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy. Yeah. And greatest thing of calm of assurance, this child shall face on certain days because he lives. Because he lay I can face tomorrow because he lay all my face is gone and it's because I know, I know, I know, I know, I know who holds my future. This shot shall make the living just because he did. And then one day, I'll cross that river. I'll find life finally. Oh, yes, I will walk with pain. And then when there, oh, yes. Gives way to victory. I'll see the light of victory because he lived. Yes, it's because he lived. I can face tomorrow. 
Because he lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is. And it's because I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, I do. Who holds my future? <laughs> this God. This word of living just because she lived. Yo, she lived. I can face tomorrow. It's because he lives. I can face tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. Lord. Amen. Glory. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Give God praise. Amen. Amen. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Amen. I want to thank Sister Portia. I really want to thank God. Amen. I really want to thank God. Amen. Um, because God knows exactly what you stand in need of when you need it. Amen. And um you know, in this transition that we find ourselves in. Because you know, Sister Gladys, we in transition. We transitioning, amen. That, um, you know, the Lord knew I can't sing. So he sent us help, amen. amen. Sent us help, amen. Amen. And I want you to pray for our church. Yes, Lord. Pray for our church. We are going to be doing some remodeling. Amen? Amen. 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 You know that, Sister Kamadi, we're going to do some upgrading. Amen. Amen. Because um, I feel that as your leader, that we need to make sure we give you the best. Amen. Amen. And the best we shall give you. Amen. Talking about the best. And God made you the best. Amen. Say it with me. God made me the best. My mind. Why don't you say it one more time? God made me the best. God made me the best. Praise the Lord. Why don't you say it at home on Zoom? God made me the best. God, God made you the best. That's the sermon topic on the day. God made you the best. Amen. You can personalize it, which I really want you to do, is to say, God made me the best. me the best, right? God made me the best. All right. Father, hide me behind the cross that men and women won't see me, but they will see thee. Open this mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel for which I am a pastor in bonds. And therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And at the end, O oh Father, may sure that you receive all honor and all glory. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. amen. For those of you that is coming in a little bit later, amen, we read for your hearing coming from James, the first chapter. I want you to be able to read this scripture all week long. You learn by repetition. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing comes from or and by the word of God. Amen. You learn by repetition. 
Amen. Just this, just this dose won't do you. Amen. You're going to need another dose on Monday and Tuesday and so on and so forth. And Sister Kamadi, I, I feel like I want us to focus in on this um, seventh and eighth verse. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. Well, let me back that up a little bit. It's so, so good. Verse number six. But let him ask in faith with no doubting. Underline no doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave in the sea that is driven tossed by the wind. Verse number seven. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So here we are, once again, finding ourselves in another fight. For the simple right of being free. Just to be free, not to break laws, but to have the same rights as everybody else have the opportunity to experience and to have life. All we want is a fair chance just like they give themselves a fair chance. Yes, so. We want to be able to have the same level of opportunities in education. Yeah. Man. We want to have the same opportunity for health care. Why would somebody work with me? We want to be treated fairly when we go work on the job. It shouldn't be one rule for one group of people and then, and then another rule for us. Why is that we have to work twice as hard to get the same thing somebody else gets. And sometimes they don't even have to work at all. That's right. Why is it that 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 you know we have to we have to come home and have to deal with issues that other groups of people don't have to deal with or contend with? So the point is, is that it gets so bad in our community that we start turning against each other. Instead of helping one another, we want to make sure that we find something wrong with you so that it can be a good excuse to make sure you don't advance. Who I'm talking to? Why is it that we always got to find something wrong? Well, I don't like the way he preached. What's that about? Amen. Because 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 it's all about God's word. But but now 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 we want to operate. On, on faith, which is at a high level, now we want to minimize faith so that it's, it's functioning on personality. Oh, we, oh God help me. Come on, Pastor. Thanks. What difference does it make whether or not you have here? Listen. Don't have here? Listen. Or you go to the store and buy here? What, what difference does that make? With you being the best. Can I get a witness? It doesn't matter what car you drive. 
Although, although, although we take a lot of pride in those types of things, I never see a casket that's designed for a Mercedes. My wish. Amen. Right. You know that all those things are here for today. And they, they gone tomorrow. And so, and so our value system must be aligned with the value system of God. Yeah. And the first thing that God laid upon my heart to let you know on this day is that you are very valued by God. That's why God made you the best. Come on, somebody. Amen. God made you the best. Amen. Amen. God made me the best. Amen. God made me the best. I, I don't got to compare myself with somebody around the corner. I'm not in competition with you. Amen. I'm working against a system that wants to oppress such. Amen. So that they can be elevated and we can be depressed. You are not my enemy. Hallelujah. The enemy is the system. It's systematic. It's deliberate. It's been put in place for a reason. And somehow or another, we look towards God. To level the play, playing field. Am I right about it? Do, 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 do y'all hear me? And soon we, we, you know, we look to God for answers. To help us where we can't help ourselves. You understand that? I, you know, I, there's some things I can do. And there's some things God can do. And then there's things that we, me and God got to do together. Hallelujah, somebody. That's why I, I, I'm here to witness to y'all. Amen. That, 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 that you have to have one mind. Yes, sir. Come on. Amen. Amen. You can't, you can't be, you can't be double-minded. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can't be one way now, then another way next week. You can't, you, you, you can't be, you can't be two things at the same time. It won't work. And maybe the problem is, is that, is that we've been double-minded. Hallelujah. We've been double-minded. You can't, you can't, you can't be double-minded in God's kingdom. Amen. The Bible says in James that, that, that if you, if you double-minded, how can you ask of God and expect to receive it? Come on. Hallelujah. I wonder, is that why the church, amen, don't got the power that it needs? Because it's full of double-minded folk. Right? I know I'm right. Praise yeah. the Lord. I mean, you don't have to even say amen to me. I, I say amen to myself. I've been in this thing for a long time. Wishy-washy. Amen. Here the day gone tomorrow. Amen. Excuse making. Now go ahead, pick your adjectives. Amen. But God cannot bless anybody that's double-minded. Now I'm about to get into your business. That was just my introduction. <laughs> uh, just my introduction. Now I'm about to get into your business. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Some of you got the wrong thing, even when I say double-minded. Y'all yeah. really don't understand what that means, being double-minded. Amen. Because, because, you know, you know, you know, you know, 
let me let me say this. You got to be in agreement in order not to be double minded. You about but what's what ask me the question. What do we need to be in agreement with? Some of y'all may say with the word of God. Yes, so you're right. But that's not it. Got to be in agreement in prayer. Yes, that's correct. But that's not what the that's not that's not what to be saying right now. We talk about being double-minded, meaning you got two minds. One mind says one thing, and the other mind do another. That double-minded. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Have you ever had anybody know somebody? Yes. Amen. Do you know yourself? <laughs> That say one thing, but then you do something else. Yeah, I'm getting in your business now. Yeah, I love you today, baby. I love you today. But when I get finished with you, I'll be with you all your, all your life. I won't love you. Amen. Until five years from now, I don't even want nothing to do with you. Double minded. You know, you say one thing, but your actions don't match up with your words. Can I get a witness about it? See, see God can't bless a double-minded person. You can be a good person, but you're double-minded. The Bible says faith without works is dead. That's what, that's what, that's what that means. You you know, you say it a lot, amen. You look good, amen. But, but you ain't got no work. You ain't got no action. Behind the statements that you make, you're double minded. Amen. You're not made, amen. You're not being your best that God has made you. Amen. You're double minded. How, how, how did this thing happen? I don't tell you how it happened. Amen. God, God, God created a system that's over man's system. That's why I can celebrate right now. God delivering us from so, you know systematic financial oppression, because that's their system. Amen. But but I, I told you I'm going to give you keys on how to operate in God's system. Listen to me right now. God's system created in you. Amen. 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 One mind and another mind. One mind is your conscious mind, Sister Turner. That's the mind you talk with. <laughs> That's the mind that speaks. Praise the Lord. The other mind is your subconscious. Your subconscious is recording everything that happens in your life. Hallelujah. Your subconscious, amen, doesn't forget anything. It remembers all things. At the same time, your subconscious it's put in control of your body functions. You don't have to think about making your heart beat. God created a system that it works automatically. Can I get a witness, somebody? Amen. So a lot has to do with your subconscious. Amen. But a lot of us don't know how to get to the subconscious at the conscious level. My Lord, God, help me, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, help me. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in that same chapter, in verse number 22, listen to me, uh, 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 Brother Washington. The Bible says, but he, but be ye doers from the word, and now hear his own, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently into the in, in natural face in a mirror. My God. So, so, and so, and so, 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 if, if you don't get this right now, understand this. Amen. For, for he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he looks like. My God. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. So and so and so when you double minded, you can look in the mirror and don't even know 
Who's looking back at you? My God. No wonder you can't get no advancement. No wonder you're struggling so much. Because you're in disagreement with yourself. Hallelujah, somebody. But I'm here to witness to somebody right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to tell you right now. I work every day, every day on purpose to be in agreement with myself. Hallelujah, somebody. I got to a point, if I don't say it, I ain't, I ain't going to do it. But if I say it, I'm going to get done what I have to say. I got to be in agreement. Both things got to align. One with another. As we begin to wrap this in, listen to this. When I make up my mind, that I'm about to elevate. God has already says elevate. Neil, God says elevate. Gladys, God says elevate. Brantley, God says elevate. Turner, God says elevate. God says elevate, Alinsky. Yeah. Yeah. God has said, I command you, I give you the power, elevate. Yeah. To get around, elevate. Yeah. Yeah. That's God's system. Once God command me in my spirit, I got to agree with him with my mouth. I'm not going to speak against God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm healed. Doctor, I know I'm here. I know I've got this disease, but I'm healed. But as I speak, my other mind got to be in agreement. I'm going to do nothing up in here right now. I will not tell. I'm going to do nothing up in here. I want to do nothing up in here. And not by sight. Hallelujah, somebody. So now I gave keys to you. Right? That how do you program your subconscious to agree with your conscious? What you say you're going to do, you do it. Hallelujah, somebody. You begin to program your subconscious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me pause for a minute. Amen. Then I say to you, and then you say to yourself, I am the best me. Right. Amen. I need you to stop right now what you're doing and shout out right now, I am, I am the best me. The best me. Come on, say it one more time. I am. I am. I am. The best me. There ain't nobody like me. Yes, Say it one more time. There ain't nobody like me. I am the best. Yes, sir. And what I do. Now line it up with your actions. Put your hands together, get God to pray. I share a, a um, testimony with you. I have um, several accounts and I pray that you have accounts. Amen. I'm talking about bank accounts, investment Amen. accounts. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because you're asking God to bless you. Amen. How many of you are blessed and highly favored? Amen. How many of you tithe? Amen. How many of you are, is a tither? You are tired of? Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says God will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't, won't, won't have what? Room enough to receive it. That's God's promise. Amen. 
What rooms have you prepared for God to pour into? See, you're doing one thing, you're saying one thing, but you're doing another. Can I get a witness, somebody? So listen here. So what I did, I opened up a brand new account, investment account. And I said, the money that's going in here, it's going to be funded by collecting bottles. Has anybody ever watched those folk that collect bottles? Hey Amen. plays a whole shopping cart. Uh -huh. yeah. And you drive past them in your nice car. Yeah. And be like, I pray for them. God bless them. Well, God gave me a revelation. He says, Lenny, don't call me that. <laughs> Only one person calls me by my whole name in this congregation. <laughs> Say, Lenny, listen. I want you to grow this account by collecting nickel bottles. My God. But God, I'm the pastor of the Doing Man Resort Church. You see what type of nice clothes I wear? You know, you know what type of car I drive? What? Say, yeah, I know all of that. That don't mean nothing. But, but I need you to understand the value of a dime. Yeah, I wish you wish you hear me. I need you to understand that the nickel is just as valuable. See, you say you want to be rich, but what are you doing to be rich? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. So I, I went on ahead, did a little research, right? Went right, went right up the block. Mm -hmm. Went right into that recycling place. Mm -hmm. I brought my bottles, Gladys. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And I said, oh, this is easy. No wonder they do this. And I ran right back home and collected all my bottles packed them up in my BMW car and roll my BMW right into that recycle bin. Amen. Okay, man, I got one person that clapped up in here. Right. You've been doing it for a long 20 years of doing it. Hallelujah. And, 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 and in doing so, you know how much a nickel can go. That's right. Amen. But God says, watch this. God says, it's not the nickel. It's your mind. It's your mindset. Because if you can't manage a nickel, how can you manage a half a million? I wish somebody hear me. They both begin with five. But one got more zeros behind it than the other. But you have to learn, you have to learn how to manage the lower denomination before I elevate you. Because if you can manage a nickel, I can give you more to manage. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. So if anybody don't want their bottles, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I, it doesn't change who I am. It does not. I'm not. I'm, I'm maybe if, if I'm lower in your sight, then you ain't my part of my flock anyway. All I'm doing is getting back the money that I put out. I know, I know, I know this don't sound religious on the first Sunday, but you pay for that. You rented the plastic. You rented the bottle. The bottle's all rent. They make you pay the rent before you walk out the door. That's why they call it a deposit. <laughs> and you get back the deposit when you return back the bottle. The item that you bought. 
तू हमेशा भारी है मेरे somebody. You ought not to be afraid to do business. Amen. Or not to be afraid, amen, to live your life in the way that God said you can live your life. Amen. I don't got time, but I have to wait till next week to, to give this to you. But God ain't mad with rich people. That's right. That's the title for next week. God's not mad with rich people. So join the club. Amen, amen somebody? God's not, let's write that down. God's not mad with rich people. So join the club. Amen. True. Hello? Systematic financial oppression. We're breaking the back of systematic financial oppression. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. amen, amen. By the way, I made about $25 yesterday, Gladys. So what I did was I went to, to the bank, deposited the money directly to my bank account. As soon as I got home, I uploaded the 25 into the investment account. The, the key behind that is I want to, I'm going to multiply the 25 into 35. When I multiply the 35, I'm, you know, I'm going to multiply that 35 into 65. I wish somebody hear me. Now we'll multiply that 65. See, multiplying is a lot faster than adding. All you can do is add to an account. But when you, you start multiplying. And I teach you that another day. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. We praise your name and your glory for this time and for this opportunity, oh God making us the best me that I can be. We thank you, O oh Father God, for having one mind purpose in our lives. We thank you for this word and what's about to come, what's about to happen, because the doors are about to be burst wide, wide open. And we thank you for this in Jesus Christ, the Lord, we pray. Amen. And amen and amen. Sister Kim, I'm going to ask that you will come forward at this time and give us our announcements. And after that, we will have our Black History Moment. Sister Kim. Good afternoon, Durham family. Our church announcements are as follows. Please remember that we have Sunday school every Sunday at 9 a.m. and it's on Zoom. And then you can join us online or in person for our morning worship at 1130. Every Wednesday, we have midday, midweek prayer. And that's at 1 p.m. using the conference call conference call in number. And we have Bible study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. On this coming Sunday, February 12th, we will celebrate Jersey Sunday. So wear your favorite team jersey. And also, please let's keep Brother Neil Washington lifted up in prayer as he will be preaching his trial sermon. Amen. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Amen. And on Wednesday, February 15th, we will have our third quarterly conference at 7 p.m. via Zoom. And um, if you're amenable to the quarterly conference, any class leaders, presidents, Sister Sandy or myself will be calling you to get an update for your report. And those Sister, are Sister Portia, what time are we going to do the trial sermon on Sunday? I'm just Sister Kim. Amen. Amen. Sorry about that. What time is it? I'm um, supposed to be two o'clock, correct? Yeah. Oh, two o'clock. Yeah, the time is two o'clock on Sunday. Next Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl don't start till quarter to seven. Okay. So now, brother Washington. Now, brother Washington preach that long. I'm telling you, it'll be the last time he preach up in right. there. His first will be his last. Amen. <laughs> I promise you, amen. <laughs> 
Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Kim. Amen. And Sister Kim, like, I'm, I'm going on mute. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's our Black History moment. And um, we have so many people that we can highlight um, for Black history. But in, in keeping with the spirit of God, that's operating within our church ministry right now. There's a lot of people within our own congregation that is doing tremendous things to make history. And on today, I'd like to, um, I'd like to use uh, one of our very own, Sister Crystal Pickett, amen, amen for our first Black History moment because as you know every day we live we're making history yeah. amen so allow me to read a little bit to you about crystal pickett who loves the lord she passionately continues to spread god's love through dance and teaching sister crystal has been a praise dance choreographer since 2002 at doom this church amen under my leadership you need to put that in your bio Sister Pickett, amen. I'm just, I'm just letting you know, amen, amen. Crystal, um, continue praise dancing in her undergraduate school at SUNY and Newport, amen. She received her bachelor's of science degree in childhood education, one through six, with a minor in mathematics and black studies, amen. After obtaining a bachelor's degree, Sister Crystal continued education in Queens College, where she received a master's of education in literacy um, education, B through six. Crystal Pickett continues to work with the youth in her field of education as a full-time academic intervention service um, reader teacher at the Academy of Charter Schools. She's been an educator for over 10 years. God, I remember when she was just this high. She worked part-time work with, and never stopped um, her from sharing the gift of dance and teaching, which is so true because she does it even up to this very day. To the youth and others, amen, to, to the youth and others, praise dancers. She began creating activity books to help children learn and grow in fun, creative way through play and form of books. Her current activity book highlights Black history. Aha. Crystal gives all honor to um, the glory of God for allowing her to find her purpose. And what I have for you on today is her books. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. These are all our very own Sister Crystal Pickett. Amen. And I'm wondering, Sister Kim, Sister Pickett, are you able to come on screen and put your camera on? I know this perhaps is the last moment, but if you're able to, there she go, amen. Can you unmute yourself? Yes, hi. Amen. And so, Sister Cricket, with great honor, amen, we like to honor you, amen, with great honor, amen, we like to honor you, amen as our Black History moment. Amen. Amen. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and we're not going to stop there because we, we are working with you and for you. And this is the activity book. Amen. This is her late, latest publication, correct? Yes. Amen. Can you tell us some something about it? Sure. As I work to be your host okay Amen. <laughs> so if you take a look on that first page it is the um tic-tac-toe so activity where the you will work with a partner or your parent and the child can work with their parent um they would have to name a black inventor right in order to get that space if they're not sure what a, who a Black inventor was, now is their opportunity is to go and research, right? What a Black inventor, who was a, was a Black inventor. Amen. So it's not like something that you don't have to know, like you're gonna go out and just do some research for yourself 
and that's another way just to really learn and grow. Um, How about um, day two and three? So day two and three, you have Unscramble. So it gives you a, a clue of the African-American and that topic is black historians. So there's a word bank there for the kids. Um, the first clue is I was the first black woman to become elected to the United States, sorry, United States Congress. And then who am I, right? There's clues there. And My goodness. Un unscramble it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know, we, we don't really have time to go through the whole book. Yeah, not the whole thing, but yeah. I want them to go through this. Now you you made this, right? For ages, what age? Uh school age. So okay. any kid that's in school. Any yeah. any child that's in school, but I guarantee you, let me pick, pick this up. Amen. I guarantee you that um most of us don't know the information you have in here. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, adults can definitely use it too. Well, you know, because, you know, we need to unscramble some things. Amen. <laughs> we need as much help to keep our minds active. Mm -hmm. And we need to learn our culture. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy one of these books for everybody in the church. Oh, Amen. I, all to, I mean, that's all the hand clap I got. <laughs> I'm going to. Sister Thank Pickett. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Pickett, how much yeah. are they? Uh, so each book is $9.99. Each, it's just $9.99, 10 bucks. Yeah. Amen. And so what we're going to do, we're going to put an order in mm -hmm. of 50. Amen. All right. All right. We're going to put the order in at 50. All right. And we want every adult, amen, to receive one of these books. Right. Now watch this. We want you not only to go through it, but then we want you to give it to or share another copy with. Because I want you to write in your book. Don't make copies and cheat. <laughs> Amen. Buy as many. See, we have to learn how to support each other. We have to learn how to support our own. And so if, if this is what she's doing, why not buy it for you may have grandchildren. You may, you, you know, you I mean, I mean, why give them somebody that looks like, you know, pale, they don't look like them. Give them something that looks like them to give them five. Huh? Amen. Amen. And what, send one to Governor Santos, uh, um, DeSantis. Amen. Amen. And so, um, y'all in agreement with this effort? Y'all in agreement with this effort? So, Sister Pickett, we're going to talk offline to get these books ordered and get them in house so that we can share them with the folk. Folk, amen, that are here, we want you to contribute. Amen. We want you to contribute. If you want more than one copy, contribute. Amen. Get as many copies as you need. Amen. So that we can make sure that Sister Pickett not only do this, but does much, much more. Yeah. We want her not only to be local, but girl, we going national. Mm -hmm. You're going national. Amen. You're going elevate. global. Elevate, elevate. Elevate. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Pickett. Amen. Put your hands together one more time for this, your very own Black History Moment, brought to you by the church like no other, the Durham Amy Zion Church. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Sister Erica. Amen. We're going to lift up our offering. We're going to lift up our offering. Press down, shaking together, running over. Shall God get back into our bosom? Amen. You can give through various means. You can give through Giblify. You can give electronically through Giblify. 
You can give through Cash App. No matter which way you decide to go, you can give. You can give through the envelope system. 1891 Hexha Avenue, Bayshore, New York. You can mail in your offerings. Or 562, P.O. Box 562, Bayshore, New York, 11706. No matter which way you go, God is good. And all the time, God is good. Now, my father's children, you have heard me talk about we're going to do some things in here. We're going to need your assistance. We, we need you to go above and over, amen, whenever you can. And I know this is the first Sunday, so I want to catch you now, amen. Whatever you can give above, give above, amen. If you can give a little bit extra, give extra. If you give through Cash App, Give through Cash App. No matter which way you decide to give, give unto the Lord and the Lord will bless you. Amen. Father, we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, my father's children, I'm going to ask that we prepare our hearts and minds for the Lord's Supper. Amen. Amen. Right on time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we sing a little song as the deaconess and Sister Gladys is in the house on the day. Put your hands together for that. Okay. Don't tell me God doesn't work. Amen. Yes, Don't tell me God, God, God does not work. Amen. You know, God has brought her a mighty long way. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And so, um, will somebody help us out just to sing a little song? Would you be free from your passion and pride? There is power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you be wide Wonder working power. Oh, the land there is power. Power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. Oh, the power. Wonder working, oh, in the blood, it's in the blood of the land. There is power, wonder working power. One more time. Oh, there is. Oh, wonder. Oh, in the blood, in the blood. Oh, the blood. There is your time. In the precious blood. Let's make one big one. There is power. You're the one down. Yes, in the blood. Oh, the blood. There's in the power. Wonder in the precious blood of the Lord. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Brother Washington. Amen. For those of you that are at home, amen. We pray that you have your communion elements with you. Amen. And so we're going to ask those of you that are here to please stand. I'm on page. Amen. Page 12. In the back of our hymn books. Page 12 in the back of our hymn books. And I'm going to extend the invitation 
because we usually don't have the opportunity to do so. I'm going to do so on today. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the perpetuation for our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. Wherefore, ye that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy way, draw near with faith, taking the holy sacrament to your comfort, and devoutly kneeling, making your humble confession to Almighty God. Please take your seats, those that are here. Thank you for standing in proxy, not just for yourself, but for those also that are at home. So let us say this together, the general confession. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life to the honor and glory of thy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. I'm going to move directly into the prayer of consecration. And although you are at home, may not be able to see the table, the altar, the altar has been prepared, the elements are present, you're present, we all are here together. Almighty God, thy heavenly Father, who thy tender mercy did to give thy only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there his oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and then instituting his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we humbly beseech thee, and grant that we receive in these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, and remembers of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night he was betrayed. Same night that he was betrayed. Took bread and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take, eat, for this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which was shed for you and for many, for the remissions of sins. Do this as oft as ye like, and remember of me. Let us all say, My father's children, tradition will have it that I will receive the wafer which represents the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I take it and I eat it. And I'm blessed. I take the cup of the covenant of the Lord. I take it. I drink it. And I can feel both of my minds coming together to be one.
Let us all say together, it's very meet and right in our bounding duty that we should at all times and all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, the earth is full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, most high. Now we're going to do this differently from the last time. The last time we was together, I had the people within the sanctuary commune first. And then those of you that was on Zoom to commune second. I'm reversing that order on today. Amen. And I'm going to ask those of you that are on Zoom to um, please retrieve, if you haven't already, your communion elements. It's a little different, amen, that we have. At this time, I'm going to ask that you peel off the top of it where the wafer is concealed and protected. Please do so now. And when you have done, please take the wafer, break it between your fingers, and then eat it. This represents, once again, the broken body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, so that you don't have to go through life broken. Receive that healing in your body in the name of Jesus. I believe it's, it, it keeps us alive. I believe it has mystical powers that we don't understand. Now peel back what's underneath it. Take that aluminum foil off and, and expose the wine, the, 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 the juice that's in here, that's symbolic of wine, which is symbolic of the blood of Christ. Take it now. Take it and drink it and receive remissions of sins. Meaning that your sins was out of control, just, just wildly just doing things. Now it's in remission. It's in remission. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. You can dispose of your elements after service. Those of you that are here within the sanctuary, I'm going to ask that our usher will help me on the day. Amen. And allow the people, I need them to come down on my left side, Sister Oleski. Amen. On my left side and meet me here. Thank Amen. Thank you so much. I'm going to put down the microphone. I got to go off camera to serve them, but please stay um, with us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Take it back to your seats with you. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. Jesus, what can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that soul that makes me white as snow. Not for the self I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. But in my show, nothing but the blood of Jesus. But can make me hold again. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that soul that makes me white as snow. Oh, the bird nothing but the blood of 
My father should do the same instructions that I've given to those that were, were joining us on Zoom, my Zoom family. Please pull back the top plastic exposing the wafer. Take it between your fingers. Break it and eat it. Now please expose the cup of wine that's underneath. It is sealed, be careful. It is really sealed. This is tamper proof just about. Well, that's okay. That's why you have a pastor. <laughs> there you go. Everybody else is open? Mm -hmm. Amen. Please drink. Anybody else needs assistance, please let me know. Thank you, all of it. What are the missions of sins? The Bible says. Do this as often as you like in remembrance of me. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let us all say the Lord's prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Remember the good old days where we, we used to sing, what a fellowship. Leaning on Come on. Come on, y'all. Remember that? Safe. Secure. From all in all. You ever remember that at home, don't y'all? Amen, 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 amen. Now unto him that that giveth thee power not to be unstable in your life. Now unto him that is able to make you the best me that you can ever be. Now unto him that's able to keep it from falling. Now unto him 
that's able to love you yeah. through every circumstance you may have to go through. The only wise God I create, be glory and majesty, power, dominion, both now, henceforth, and forevermore. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Continue to be blessed because you are blessed. Amen.